Good morning, active traders, and welcome to our Trading Open uh, live trading room preview event. I do these open houses once every other month, every eight weeks, so congratulations for all of you who are here. We've got a record number of people registered, 811 as of right now, so great to see an epic turnout. If you're tired of the cheap stock pump and dump crap that you've seen out there by these con artists, young guys who claim to be making thousands of dollars but somehow have no tax return proof they trade, uh, stop the madness. There's got to be a smarter way. And since the year 2000, I've taught how to do it exclusively at Trading Open. I'm president of Day Trading University and Trade Mastery. Coming at you live here on Monday, May 7th. As always, all information is for educational use only. I'm not making advice about what to buy, sell, or hold. By watching this, you hereby agree to not make actual trades. We make no profitability or performance claims, nor do we do any live real money trading. This is all for a paper trading approach and a safe, intelligent, focused learning environment. Thanks to all of you who voted for me. I got two of the top five articles in Stocks and Commodities Reader's Choice Award last year. This just got published a few weeks ago, so I'm the only guy in the world that has two of my articles in the top five, so that, that was pretty cool. Trading Open for proof. I've been running this since August of 2000. I've been around since dinosaurs roamed the earth, and I've got a lot of experience to share with you. Thousands of real money trades and tens of thousands of examples that we've covered here in the room over the near 20 years I've been around. You may have seen me in Stocks and Commodities as a Traders Expo featured speaker in the premium events. Proof I really trade. Made 16 grand on just under 5 million. They call me the $5 million man, the $5 million trader, because here's tax return proof. I did 4.9 million in trades in a single year. Who else in the entire trading industry shows tax return proof? That's what I thought. Anyway, great to see traders in my live events in Las Vegas. Here at Trading the Open, one of the reasons why it's been so popular with thousands of the world's traders, and again, looks like we're holding steady, 811 registered for today's event. Thanks to all of you for being here. We're getting underway right now to take a look at our live markets and professional trading strategies that cover not only tape reading, but one-minute candlestick patterns as well. I encourage you to learn from my colleague Steve Nissen at candlecharts.com for more on candlesticks. But we do cover one-minute candlestick patterns, tape reading, price action momentum breakouts, uh, and mainly we look for gap plays. I'm main focus on gaps of stocks, 20, 30, 40 bucks a share or so. Just got a few more slides here, and then we'll jump into the live markets. Scanning for the best stocks. For professional day trading, those are always between the $20 to $70 share range. I don't like the FANG stocks like Apple or Netflix or Facebook because they're too expensive and the percentages aren't there. The number does, numbers and the volatility don't make sense. When volume of at least, and we don't like cheap charts because they are pop and drop. They get circuit breaker halted. They're front run by dishonest young men who illegally will buy 5,000 shares and tell hundreds of traders, buy now. And then they sell to them, and that's, that's not good. So you want volume, safety numbers. Never, ever day trade things under $10 a share. That is for morons. Never, ever day trade stocks with volume of under 15,000 shares a minute, because otherwise you may be on the wrong side of a pump and dump from these scheming young men in chat rooms. So make sure you got good volume and volatility. We want gaps in previous days' big movers. Minimum one-point daily range, preferably two, three, or four points with high volatility and volume with clean, wide, tight, open range breakouts and gaps. Now, who is trading the open not for? It's not for stupid people. If you're dumb, you should probably go away because this will probably be over your head. So if you're dumb and stupid and not, not very well educated, this is not for you. It's also not for broke ass traders. If you've got a trading account of less than $10,000, you should not be day trading. Day trading by law is for people who have over 25,000 uh, in a per pattern day trading PDT Reg T rule. So if you're a broke ass trader, go away. If you're a gambler, get out of town. We don't want you here. I only want smart people who are well capitalized and are professional, not gamblers, stupid, or broke ass traders. So traders trying to cash in. Join Ken, kind of like comedians in cars with coffee. Other rooms are like weak coffee. They're all day long every day. That's stupid. Life is too short for bad coffee.
trading open is like espresso or filet mignon. I cover the highest volatility opens on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So it's kind of a part-time approach instead of grinding out trades all day long like an idiot. You can't make money with that. That does not work. Test it and come back in a year and say, oh, yeah, you're right, Ken. Anyway, so I've learned from experience that we like to have professional quality training with clear explanations. Before we get into it, just a reminder, you can get a three-week trial for just $7.00. Uh, that auto renews is 97 a month. If you've already done the free trial and you foolishly went away, you can come back at the 97 a month regular rate, which is cheap as heck. I used to charge and get 4.95 a month for my live room. It's a premium professional experience, but the basic plan is only 97 a month. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get underway with today's markets and take a look at some hot charts and what's going. Oh, thanks, Barry. Saying good intro. Appreciate it, man. I'm trying. So first thing, we trade markets first. The S&P, always have a two-day, one-minute candlestick chart. You can also zoom in on the advanced one-minute chart live in market so you can see where things are headed. But we like to use a two-day, one-minute candlestick chart. We've got a long buy a stock market today, right? The S&P is up. That doesn't mean it's going to keep going up, but if it does, we'll be looking for new longs. Now, if we take a look at our gappers today, start off with a minor gap. It's not even beating the market yet, but U.S. Steel, when it runs, it runs hot. So U.S. Steel is up here at new highs. The long triggers, again, paper trading only. If We go long in these instruments if they go over these values. So U.S. Steel will go long if it breaks over 35.20, but not a minute, not until a minute before that. So we don't want to screw around with false breakouts. I'm one of the top industry experts at how to avoid false breakouts. And we always have a false breakout, dumb money, safety filter, you know, at the top. See, stupid traders would buy at 34.90. Oh, it's breaking new highs, Ken. Let's buy. Then it runs up a nickel or dime. And then it crashes and burns. And you get stopped out. And then it runs to 36 without you. So don't be that guy. Learn, you learn here how to avoid, potentially avoid false breakouts by setting triggers at places that are likely for momentum in trend directional plays. Next chart up to bat is Starbucks percolating up here. It's caffeinated with a gap to 59.80, collapsed down to 58.60, bounced up. It's up and down. They don't know what the heck they want to do with it, but we'll see if it's able to take on new highs over the 59.8 later. Next up, one of our favorites in the room, JD. It's got a really good range here. We'll see if it's able to break to new highs or if it does a gap and trap, you know, if a gap and crap or gap and trap, however you want to call it. A gap reversal is starting to head down after a minor gap up to 38.50. So, hey, wake me if it takes on new highs. Next, we got Micron. All right. Micron, one of our longtime favorites here because when it runs, it runs nicely. The long trigger is at 48.40. The short trigger is 47.30. I'm likely to tighten that up here later, but for now, we'll leave it as is. Micron's got my favorite chart pattern in the entire freaking world, which is a small gap continuation. So... That's a really good pattern to look at. So always take note of minor gap continuations. That's what we specialize in here is this kind of a chart, a minor gap that continues and is something priced under 50 bucks a share, usually 20, 30, 40-ish a share. Next up to bat, we've got TSEM, crashing and burning. We don't care why. I don't even care what the company is. What is the company? I have no idea. Tower Semiconductor. Well, who gives a rat's rear? Who cares? It's a descending triangle with a bearish cup support at 2260. One of the things that you'll learn as a member here is we always cover specific pattern day trading walkthroughs, step by step with the specific pattern illustrated for you and explained in great detail. So you become a more knowledgeable trader. You understand the technicals. You may have seen my articles every month in Stocks and Commodities magazines. I'm one of the top technical traders in day trading. And one of the things that we look for is patterns that repeat themselves that we can capitalize on. Tower Semi is showing weakness with a descending triangle pattern. 23.7 is the first area we'd go long at a new high of day. But I prefer to go short at 22.20, which is the short trigger right here. So whichever one hits first is the one we take. It's 
It's very intelligent to have a box trading range. As a professional trader, you need to have your entries mapped out ahead of time. You can't just guess and gamble. And <clears throat> if you've lost money as a trader, it's because you've been reactive instead of proactive. As my colleague Brian Tracy would say, professionals are proactive. And he's exactly right. Professionals prepare. We know ahead of time what the heck is likely to run and where to trade it. Next up to bat, and I highly recommend Brian Tracy. He's the best teacher in the entire universe, in my humble opinion, or at least in the entire planet Earth. I've learned so much from Brian Tracy, and I've done two interviews with Brian as well. Anyway, MSCC, available for free at worldstoptraders.com, one of my many sites that I run. MSCC 68.4 is a long trigger up here. We'll see if that breaks to new highs. 67.50 is the short. But I like the fact that it's done a nice healthy gap up. Up, up, and away. You know, if your trading resembles an episode of Game of Thrones and you're getting your ass roasted by dragons uh, or getting your head chopped out of, with swords and all that, stop the madness. There's got to be a better way. You're probably over trading choppy ass charts that don't have enough volatility and juice to make it worthwhile and using stops that are too big. And you're taking profits too soon uh, or taking losses too late. Stop all that. I like to give you guys good professional grade coaching for how to do this the right way. Next up to bat, ESPR. This chart illustrates one of my favorite patterns, which is a previous day's big ass open range breakout. Pardon my French, but hey, it's just how I roll. We went 38 to 43. That's a great thing about running your own business. It's my house, my rules. I can run it any way I freaking please. That's why I've got so many of you here. We're still holding steady at 811. Thanks to all of you for registering. We are one of the top in the world since the year 2000, long before a lot of my copycat competitors came out. Anyway, this pattern is a prior day's wide range, open range breakout, because this guy ran all the way from 37.50 to 43. Pay very keen attention. I've been mentioning this like in the Metastock webinar I just did and with colleague webinars and the Wealth 365 one. Pay especially keen attention to the point range. Now, you should not be day trading stocks under $10. That is for morons and poor broke people. You don't want to be one of those. You want to trade stocks that actually have points of range. You're trading for points, not pennies, right? What you would not want to do, I'd much rather trade 100 shares of this than a thousand shares of some stupid stupid blank four dollar stock that has a twenty cent trading range. That's for morons. Professionals want wide range, open range breakouts. You can jump on board, let it ride a point or two or three. Much easier to make it as a trader if you're trading charts that are preloaded for potential success where you've got an edge. Always trade with an edge because you're trading against sharks like me. I'm a Wall Street shark, and I'll eat your trading account if you don't know how to trade against me, right? So. Much smarter to trade with me. And again, just paper trading in the live room because it takes years to learn. Anyway, previous days, wide open range breakouts are a good precursor or a predictive uh, you know, indicator that this is how the traders in this instrument traded, at least yesterday. So we may see a big drop today or we may see a big spike up. So either way, we are ready for this guy, ESPR. You got a short trigger down here at 39.8. The long trigger is up at 43.7. I'll likely tighten those down just a bit like a vice grip and update the alerts on the open, which is coming up momentarily. Last but not least, we've got SHA key, SHAK, I should say. This is a mean reversion pattern. You may have seen my mean reversion day trading article in Stocks and Commodities. Currently trading near 55. The big thing I love about this chart is the point range. 52 to 59. It's got seven points of range. These are intelligent professional charts to trade. You don't want to trade under $10 crap stocks that only have like 40 cents of range. You'd have to trade with so much risk with thousands of shares just to grind out small scalpy dimes and 20 cent moves. That's for morons. Professionals, we like big wide range charts that actually have a shot. So, all right, we are ready to rock and roll. Stock market opens up. In just around 20 seconds, we'll see which way it moves on the open. Welcome to Professional Trading. I'm Ken Calhoun, president of Day Trading University, Trading the Open and Trade Mastery, coming at you live here on Monday, May the 7th, 2018. Are we ready, gang? We're ready to go in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ding, 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 ding. It's go time.
Let's lock and load. Let's see who's going to run out of the gates first. First thing you do as a professional trader is sort your dang quote box by percent change and see who the heck is starting to take off, like SKX. SKX. Let's put in a long trigger for this guy. I never ever buy nines. Nines are where stupid people buy. Professional traders, we sell at the nines, so we're not going to hit this guy long until it breaks over 29 later. But do have an alert. We go long if it breaks over 29.2, short under, say, 28.5. But this guy's starting to get an early lead. SHAK is also up fractionally. You always sort your quote box by percent change. And as a day trader, one thing I learned from back in the 90s is you're always cycling through hot charts to see who's starting to move. And that's why you can't make it as a day trader if you only try and trade one instrument. Micron Technology is starting to take out new highs. 48.4 is the first long. Often, I will set a secondary long as well in case you miss the first one. So you get a second chance, unlike other rooms that just talk about tickers. Starting to work out. Boom, shakalaka. Flawless victory. Let's see if it keeps running. 4840 is a long trigger for Micron. Skechers also, I think that's Skechers, right? Skechers also at a two day high breakout. I always use a two day, one minute candlestick chart with the close up candlestick chart so you can follow up in live real time with these guys. Who's taking out the corners? Who are the most Volatile charts that are actually moving. They're getting off their butt and taking out new highs or new lows. JD's starting to fade. Oftentimes with these gap reversal patterns, just a pattern day trading rule of thumb, is often you'll find if it does a gap fill, that's my favorite long pivot, by the way, is if something fills down to the previous day's high, and then, then pivots. That's a much better odds pivot long than say something that's down in the gutter that starts to bounce. Because those are often a dead cat bounce. Catch a falling knife. Lose your money. Don't do that. Your goal as a trader is to not lose money. Just ask your wife, right? Not, or your husband or whatever. Or your pet chihuahua or whatever the case may be. Let's put in a bounce long trigger for this guy at 3820. Always be a, a smarter than the average bear. Always be out thinking where things are likely to run. If it keeps going short, that's fine. And we're gonna put I'm gonna tighten up the short trigger on this guy to 377. So we go short if it gets under 377 under the previous day's high. But I'm more inclined to look for a bounce long. And we're thinking ahead of time. So we go long if it gets over 3820. We keep following up with our other charts to see where the heck they're going. TSEMs continue to collapse down. 2220 is our short trigger. We'll see if it's able to keep dropping to new lows. Next up would be, say, 217. I realize it's restricted status, meaning in the real world you wouldn't be able to short it because no short share is available, but it's still instructive to learn the volatility of the patterns. 2220, first short, starting to chew through that. Next short is 217. Earliest long on this guy. Let's tighten it up to 22.6. So if this bounces, we go long only if it gets over 22.6. Starbucks starting to get decaffeinated going all the way down. Now remember what I said about that pattern, gang. Starbucks, 58.4, my short trigger. We are in the money. Boom. Flawless victory. He shoots. He scores. The crowd goes wild. You're 40 cents in the money. Newbies, cover out all open short right now. Take the money and run because we're at a likely reversal time. We're at a previous day's low. I said to go short here. But did you listen? No. But if you listen, how much money could you have freaking made? Well, anyway, cover the short now because we are right near the previous day's high. All right. Good time to take profits. 40 cents is the profit exit where I called it. Let's tighten down the, sh the long trigger. Maybe 59.8 is good for later, but if it bounces, remember this is my single favorite bounce pivot play, is a gap up that sells down. So I called the short there and I called the cover here. 
So bank profit, you're welcome. Take the money and run. So that was a short win. Now we look for a pivot long if and only if it breaks back over 58.30. In the meantime, Micron Technologies skyrockets on up to new highs. How much money could you have made? Did you take in my long calls? 48.40, in the money. 48.70, in the money. Cash it all out now, baby. Sell it. Sell, sell, sell. Compare my performance and my live alerts with anyone in the world that runs a live trading room. I've been doing this since frickin' 2000, so I'm an ace. I know how this works. I'm president of Day Trading University. I said to go long there. How much money could you have made? I said to go long here. How much money would you be up? The clever part is my exits. That's what I'm so proud of. It's not only the teaching quality and professional, high integrity, authenticity of my trading, but my exit calls are par excellence. Sell it all now. Sell it now. Sell into the buyers. If you're a new trader, sell it all now. If you're an experienced trader, sell at least half and trail a stop at, say, 48.80 on the rest. But what you're likely to see is a slowdown in time and sales as we get close to a whole number of resistance. The one thing that I'm particularly proud of, not only the success rate of my alerts, like I said, to go long here and long here, right? But the fact that we're likely to get a reversal near the 49. Well, thanks for the kind words. We get all these amazing, great calls. Appreciate it. Sell it all now. Sell, 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 sell. And the reason is because we're getting close to a whole number. Now, in time and sales, tape reading, you see how it dropped under the 48.80? Now, we see if it gets under 48.70 or if it climbs back over the 80 cent mark. We use every 10 cent window within time and sales to maximize our potential profit. So I said to sell what turned out to be the exact freaking top, right? That's why so many traders trust me. I'm really good with my calls. I should be after doing it nearly 20 years. Anyway, now's a smart time to take profit. If you'd bought a 48.40, you bought a 48.70, you sell at the 48.90 where I called, or 48.80 still in the money. And I walk through these types of live examples for you with tape reading. If you'll remember, I said before the market opened that this is my favorite pattern, and I even highlighted Micron as a feature play for you guys today because it had a minor gap continuation. I got you guys in and out like a champ at the exact breakout inflection point and out at the exact frickin' top, within a nickel. That's world-class day trading. And I should be charging one hell of a lot more than 97 a month for my basic plan, and we all know that. But anyway, if you want to join my live room, it's cheap as F right now. So before I raise my rates back up, I used to charge and get 4.95 a month. Then I dropped it to 197 a month, and then now I've got the bargain price of just 97 and that's for the basic version doesn't include downloads but does give you live access so again the room is not for stupid people broke ass traders or gamblers it's more for people in a nice focused espresso approach just seven dollars for a complete three-week trial comes with a money-back guarantee who else in the live trading room industry offers that you can sign up with paypal so you can cancel yourself if you Figure it's not for you, right? So that makes it easy. Unlike others who don't use PayPal because they want to make it difficult to cancel, I'm very honest and open about things. And so join with PayPal, please. And if it's not for you, that's fine. I'll still eat steak, but you know, if you want to join, I'm the right guy to learn day trading from. That would have made it up for the day, right? If you got in a thousand, you'd be up however many hundreds that was, 500 bucks from the 4840 to the 4890. That's a 50 cent win. And that's a good professional approach to intraday trading. You have my word on it. These are the right kind of charts, the right kind of patterns, and the right type of plays to, to make in the markets. Skechers is approaching its enemy fighters on the way. Luke, watch out. Switch all deflectors to front. Too much start. May the fourth be with you. Anyway, 2920 is a long trigger for <clears throat> SKX. The fellow Star Wars geeks out there, 2920 is long. We're going to see if it breaks over that. It's not there yet, so we don't go long. We avoid the false breakout, the fake out, and instead we patiently wait to see if it's able to prove itself by breaking north of 2920. If it doesn't, we don't go long. Again, my approach is a print. See, I told you that was likely to bounce, right? JD, my long call 3820 is now 28 cents in the money. You are welcome. 
Welcome friends, colleagues, countrymen. 3820. Now, if you're a new trader, and by the way, I split my exit calls often into new versus experienced traders. I got so many traders from around the world with different experience levels. If you're a newbie, take your 28 cent profit right now because we're at a prior high. By the way, does this help the reasons why I explain for you, narrate with live winning calls for you, the reasons for the entries and the exits? Remember this guy? I had even marked out the support at the previous day's high, and I said my favorite bounce pattern is those that sell from a gap up to fill and pivot. I posted along at 3820. I'm saying to sell it all now if you're a newbie for 30 cent profit. Experienced traders sell at least half, lighten up to book early profit and trail a stop at 3840 on the remainder. But that was a good call. It was good honest calls, right? Did I have any stop outs today? Of course not. I'm a freaking champ. I actually I'm I'm not a I've not been invited to participate in any world championship for traders. I'm like I'm the guy they don't invite because they know I'll smoke their ass, right? It's a true story. I've never been invited to participate in some live trading championship because they know who they can't beat, so they don't invite guys like me. I'm a mechanic. I'm a shark. I know how this works. Shark was a good TV series with uh, Jerry Ryan and James Woods about DA's office in LA, but I digress. The S&P is taking out new highs. Spiders up here. The new Westworld season two is pretty good too. Terrifying and frightening, but fascinating at the same time. Oddly, curiously fascinating. Anyway, spiders are taking out new highs. Remember, if you day trade and it feels like you're in an episode of Westworld or an episode of Game of Thrones, and you're getting smoked and dragons are toasting your trading account, it's because you've learned the amateur's approach. I'm a professional, so I like to give you guys good professional guidance and tips on how these things work. I'm an award-winning top money show speaker and stocks and commodities author, former corporate statistician for the Ford Motor Company. I am a hardcore numbers guy, a UCLA graduate. And a certified genius of the 164 Stanford Burnett. You don't have to be a genius to day trade, but it doesn't hurt. Anyway, spiders are taking on new highs. We'll see if this A is able to continue continue the madness on up to new high breakouts. Looks like TSEM's trying to bounce. What's going on here? TSEM. My long call 22.6 is now 36 cents in the money. I would call that one a stop because a 22.20 hit it activated but bounce so we're going to call that one a stop out we more than made up for it with the winning long 2260s 30 cents in the money on the pivot long so sell half now trail a stop at break even on the rest as a live room member for all of you who are my regular members as well as all of you who are guests here that's a common refrain i said to go long at the 226 or 229 so sell Half for a 30 cent profit, trail a stop at break even on the rest. So I'm five out of six, so that's not too bad. What else we got going on? And that looks like a buyout gap, so you're fired. Boom. MSCC trying to soften up a little bit. I'm still going to keep 67.50 as a short call. It's not very volatile yet, so. On the radar to be continued, but I'm going to play it safe. Now, Starbucks got decaffeinated. I said to go short of 5840. Congratulations if you took that winning short call. Now we'd be looking for a bounce long, would be the next likely play. 5830 is my bounce long trigger. So if it does get back up there, be long. We're still open short. If you'd shorted 5840, that's in the money by what, 60 cents? Almost 60 cents, so not too bad. And again, new traders, this is our exit target. So we not only hit that, but we beat that. I had you guys go short here. I call both shorts and longs like any professional trader. Amateur live rooms don't even call shorts because they're not pros, right? Professionals, they, they trade long and short. You don't have to take the short calls, but I do encourage you to practice them so you can learn your timing and pattern recognition skills. Anyway, 5840 was a short call. Experienced and new traders alike, let's cover it all out because we're finding a base here. We're finding a potential bounce here at that closing range value of 57.6. I see a little green kennel. Not to say it's not going to keep plummeting on down. It may keep well doing that, but I would cover the short take profit now. And I'd be looking now for a potential bounce like we saw in the other charts that we covered. 
<clears throat> earliest long would be 5830. But do you see why these charts are potentially much more profitable than the stupid $5 stocks that the broke ass college kids say make millions of dollars trading penny stocks? Hey, derp. I don't think so, Sparky. Show me your tax return. Uh, well, what I like to do, show me your 49.89. Anybody trades under $10 low float stocks and claims to be making tens of thousands of dollars a day trading that, I don't believe it. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. In this industry especially. What you want are charts that are wide, clean, potentially lucrative on both sides. And I said to short there, I'm saying cover now. Even if it keeps going down, don't get pissed off. I'd still bank a 60 cent profit and be thrilled with that, right? As a day trader, that's all you need. I'm looking now for potential reversal. I'm always thinking a step ahead of the game for you guys and walking you through these charts. So Starbucks, our first long play, as you can see here, would be 58.3. So if we get over 58.30, we go long. In the meantime, let it chop and drop to its heart content. ESPR is starting to drop. Short trigger is 39.80. We're not there yet. I'm going to tighten up the long to 4120 in case we get a pivot over the whole number. I'm keen on using whole number support and resistance professionally, so that's one reason why we like charts that have points of range, not pennies. Makes it so much easier to trade when you know what to trade and how to trade it, and to gain a sense of confidence and certainty. Because the punchline is, these kind of charts are out there, and I'm an expert at finding and calling them for you. I said to go long at 3820. How much money could you have made? Did you take my 38.20? 38.7 is now also in the money by 13 cents. Sell half now. If you're a newbie trader, sell it all now. Cash it out, bank an epic profit. Boom. Sell all now. Sell it. 38.20 in out of 38.70 ish. It's starting to fade back down, so now's a good time to go to cash. So 38.7 was maybe a scratch. Ran up a dime or so. The 38.20 was good for 50 cents. One of the things you want to learn from me as a member here at Trading the Open is your exits because that's the critical determinant. See, it doesn't matter if you bought, say, 38.20 or 38.30 or 38.40. Somewhere on the way up is good. But the trick is getting out with profits intact. Like I said to sell 38.80, right? That was where I said to go out. And that was the perfect exit call on this. That's the skill that's most valuable to learn from me here is, number one, the patterns that are rock stars that have great volatility and trading ranges and are still cheap. They're under, mostly under 50 bucks a share, so relatively inexpensive charts, but also the live real-time entries and the live winning exit calls before the market takes the profit back. And that's what you really have to get at as a professional trader. Reminder, if you're not yet a member, if you've already done the $7 trial, uh, then you can just rejoin at the $97 a month cheap-ass basic plan, which I shouldn't even offer. For years, I ran this anywhere from $195 to $495 is the rate. Uh, now it's only $97 a month for a basic. That's 15 hours a month of training with calls like this, rock star calls you get from me. And this is on a Monday, which is usually a pretty bad trading day. Anyway, I run the room Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. During the best high volatility times where I have the best edge, uh, and you can join me at just 97 a month, which is much lower than I should be charging for this quality of training. And if you'd taken these, how many hundreds, if not thousands of dollars could you have made? Net profit in today's calls, right? I made good, honest calls that actually worked out for the vast majority of the time, right? The main thing to learn from me is the exits. That's the key exit strategy. That's just a few minutes left today here. I will start answering a few questions if we have any. We missed Square. Boo frickin' who. We missed Tiva. That's okay. We're not going to get them all. <coughs> Excuse me. Just rock stars like this. Pressure yourself as a day trader to be done by 10 o'clock. That's where the best volatility occurs. Between around 9.35 and 10 o'clock, you get these nice big open range breakout runs. And then everything starts to fade and drop and chop and nothing here to see. So if you're not making it as a day trader, it's probably because you're over trading. You're trading choppy instruments. You're trading too much share size. You're trading later in the day than you should. You're making all these amateur hour mistakes. I'd encourage you to try to focus on it.
Question, why is TSEM in my list? Because of the big gap down. It went from 2760 down to 23. So that's why TSEM is in the list because of the nice gap. Next short in this would be down at 21.7. Hey, TJ, question, how important is being in sync with the major indices? I like to trade charts that beat the market. So the main thing to identify in markets are breakouts and pivots. And if we're at a two-day high or two-day low, if we're in an inside chop zone. So it's very important, it's critically important to be in tune with the markets. And if the market's starting to go short here now, so it means you'd be very skeptical or cautious about any longs because the stock market itself, let me zoom in here for you can see, the last five minutes the stock market's been selling down. And when it does so, I mean, I like to trade VXX. That's my go-to VIX ETN for trading selling markets. This doesn't look particularly exciting yet. Kind of a minor gap down. But if the stock market sells off, it's always good to have in your hip pocket an inverse ETF. Now, I've traded many, many of them over the years, but this is one of my favorites in our current markets because it's got the biggest point range. When in doubt, always go for high volume, high volatility charts that actually have range. Now, this guy isn't doing anything yet, so not too excited. But the main thing is be ready for it. You can short it down at 39.6 on a new low of day breakdown plus a safety buffer built in. So 39.6 would be the short. If the stock market sells off, which often you get a 10 o'clock pivot. Often you'll get a pivot near 10 o'clock in the market. 40.3 would be the earliest pivot long. So that's kind of a hedge, you know, if the stock market collapses and drops. It still looks reasonably strong to the upside, but I'm going to take a rest for now. Question from Jorge, can I chat with you if you join? No, you cannot chat with me if you join. Question from Ritzy, morning, Ken, do I always buy stocks or trade with options? Maybe a swing? No, this live trading room approach is for trading the underlying. This is for stock day trading, not options trades. I mean, though you could follow along and learn the patterns, this is for you know professional price action stock day trading. So exactly what I explained today. Like I'd be buying the stock itself at 48.40 and selling the stock itself at 48.80. That's a professional day trader's approach. That's what I teach is this kind of pattern and these type of charts that actually run. Remember, day trading is for well-capitalized traders with minimum $25,000 trading accounts. You should not be day trading. Even the SEC says you should not be, or whatever the implication is, you should not be day trading if you're broke and don't have much money. Day trading is not for gamblers or undercapitalized traders. You can swing trade, uh, and I do offer swing trading services. If you want to swing trade good stocks under $10 a share, you can look at my smallcapscans.com advisory service or swing trade stocks like this in the 20 to 50 dollar share range at uh, swingscans.com but for day trading day trading is really for people with accounts well over 30,000 30 to 50k that can afford to trade 30 and 40 dollar stocks uh, and are looking to make good breakouts that run usually five to eight minutes or so between 9 30 and 10 and that's my particular niche or niche or my expertise Question from Scott. So do you get the list of stocks we'll be looking at before the call so we can set up our charts accordingly? Yeah, just like you saw today, I set the I set these up starting at 9.15. So when you log into the room, we will you always see a list of a handful. And I will often add to it later in the session live based on real-time scanning. And I just use never ever buy proprietary scanners. Those are for morons. Professional traders, all you need is your percent gain and loss list. Ask any pro, right? Look for any. So we don't like charts like this. Like a $3 stock that ran six cents. BFD. Who gives a rat's rear? I want stocks that actually have some juice and some momentum. That have like two or three points. That gets me going. Stocks that actually have trading potential that I can make some 
good trading entries and exits. This, look at that big chart. Oh, I ran 10 cents. BFD. These kind of charts are for moron broke traders. Don't trade those. <clears throat> At least I don't trade those. Marathon looks much better. It's got a nice minor gap. Again, see a small gap continuation. That's one I even mentioned for traders in my trading week ad on Saturday. If you guys were here on Saturday, I told you guys this would be a good one. Boom, flawless victory. He shoots, he scores, the crowd goes wild. Shing. That's too late to trade it today, but hey, I'll put on the radar for my regular members tomorrow. Of course, all of you should be joining Trading the Open. I'm refreshingly honest and candid. Unlike most people out there who try and trade demo accounts and try and pass it off as real or all that kind of crap out there. Life's too short for BS. Focus on what actually has the potential to work and what's most consistent. So many traders, you know, we're all after the goal of consistency. Well, I like to trade consistent charts with big ranges. That's kind of my secret weapon is I trade charts where the odds of being successful are really front loaded from the get go. That's why my win rate's so big in the live room is because I only pick charts that are actually tradable that actually make sense to trade. What a novel idea. And they're not freaking expensive like Apple. I would never day trade Apple because it's too expensive. I'd rather get that same points of range out of a chart. You know, like say this guy, SHAK. Just starting to run. Or a chart like this. So that's what I got. We got a couple of minutes left. Let me know if any other questions. People used to ask a lot more questions five or six years ago. Now I guess people are more to themselves. But anyway, thanks to all 811 of you who've registered for today's event. I do appreciate it, and I hope that I can be part of your success. You can read, you know, dozens and dozens of testimonials, and including video testimonials from people who learned from me. Go to tradingtheopen.com. I've been around since the dawn of time, or at least since 1999, teaching the world's traders how to trade the strongest charts. I don't see anything here. I'll often go through the leaderboard scan near 10 o'clock where things start to slow down and see if there's any other outlier charts that make sense for us to focus on. Often there's not. Usually my watch list is good enough. Like today. Anyway, if you want to learn how to trade these kinds charts the right way intelligently I only I can't believe I'm only charging 97 a month for 15 hours of professional live market training from me a money show speaker and stocks and commodities author I'm underpricing myself every single marketing consultant I've worked with says I should be charging at least double or triple what I do but hey that's neither here nor there you guys can make up your own minds as you want I appreciate y'all being here hey you're welcome thanks Question from Scott, how do I pick the pivots? Very carefully, just based on live real-time charts. So the best way to learn that is just to follow along in the live room. When I make these picks for things that are pivoting off of lows, like say I've, I called the pivot long for you guys in JD, I carefully explained the reason why. It was a pivot above, <clears throat> a, a gap up that sold down to the previous day's high and started to bounce. That's my favorite pivot play, and that's why I called the long right there for you guys, which worked out so well. So that's kind of the depth of what you need to learn, at least on the surface of the core pattern. The way to master this or the way to achieve some level of intelligent focus is to follow along in the live room each day so you can see. And again, I run the room Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. I don't run the room all day long every day. I've got a life, and that's how I day trade. You know, I trade the... Strongest volatility days. Mondays are usually really bad for day trading. Today was okay, actually. And Fridays are not much better. Usually Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays are the best. So I run the room kind of like espresso or filet mignon. We don't sit around all day long every day because time is valuable. I like to focus on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday opens. But the strongest charts like this where we can actually find good setups for you as a team. That's the play of the day. It was my Micron call at 4840 for a long play. That's the kind of the pattern that I teach here at Trading Open. I give you good live calls and answer your questions in a friendly, professional way and give you good step-by-step -step walkthroughs, often using time and sales as well as the one-minute candlestick charts.
It's a smarter way to trade. Oh, thanks, Phil. Appreciate it. <clears throat> hey, you're welcome. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I do appreciate it. Do join me. TradingTheOpen.com. It's only $7 for three weeks. And if you stick around, it's just $97 a month, which is a good deal because you're getting 15 hours of training. When I do the paid events at Money Show, you know, people happily pay three or four hundred dollars or whatever for just three hours with me. You guys are getting fifteen hours a month with me for just ninety-seven dollars. That's only like six or seven dollars per instructional hour, which is a total bargain for learning with me. So you saw the proof is in the pudding. The win rate of my alerts. You saw how good it was today, which is a Monday, which usually isn't a great day. Even on a Monday, we got lots of really good calls, and hopefully. I inspire and educate and teach you some honest patterns that I actually have a shot of working out. So see you guys at tradingopen.com. Uh, thanks for an amazing turnout. Again, I appreciate all of you for being here, and I hope that y'all had a peaceful weekend and that you got a profitable trading week ahead. So take care and best wishes for success in your trades. Join tradingopen.com today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. So bye for now.